Can you just give me a couple minutes, I'll get you right here. Yeah, I do need you, yes. process, like, you know, you're in the portal one second, yeah. and you decide to come back. Mm -hmm. What made you come back? Um, really just the love for this brotherhood, man. It's something special here that, uh, I let God really take control of my path and take control of my faith and uh, just long talks with my family, long consideration with my family and just uh, knowing that this was the right place for me. Uh, long talks with Coach Hart and Coach Day as well, just getting clarity in the moments and in the areas I needed clarity in. And uh, just moving forward, man, it's been nothing but the best decision I made in my life, even coming here in the first place. Uh, I mean, just having that type of bond with Coach Hart now and Coach Day and I seeing eye to eye, just a wholesome moment for me. And, that's what led me come back. What was it, Bryson, that made you want to get into the portal in the first place? Um, man, it's just just a clarity. Like I said, it's just a clarity moment for me. Uh, things weren't really uh, well. I wasn't seeing eye to eye in certain areas and certain aspects uh, with the, just with my uh, coach Hart and Coach Day. But we, like I said, we cleared that up. And uh, even though it took some time, and that's what I had to do to get that, then that's what it was. But I mean, we're pretty much past that now we're just really moving on getting into spring just really giving it my all for them and giving up my all to this team yeah. Right. At least three open spots in that top four. Right. But you also have to do what's best for you in some situations when you're looking around at probably the best for the country. Right. Did you just not see maybe the smoothest pass to get onto the field when you first decided to drop the portal and then um, conversations that changed your mind about that? No, nah, most definitely. Um, I felt like I'm a very talented guy and I can compete here. Uh, and I can compete anywhere in the country. And I just feel like uh, I just wanted to be valued somewhere and uh, just really seen uh, what I was doing and not really taking it for granted. And I mean, uh, like I said, when I had them talks with Coach Day and Coach Hart, uh, it was nothing taken for granted. It's just the path God had me on. And I just really had to get clarity and see that. And once I did see that, uh, I hit the ground running from there. And it's just been nothing but great vibes and great energy in the building. And even my teammates uh, welcomed me back uh, with open arms. And it's been an even closer bond with them. So, I mean, uh, everything happens for a reason. And I felt like that was a pretty good reason for me to uh, do do something like that and just pretty much have it come full circle back to me. There's a lot of things that in recruiting that probably sound good, right? Like right. Being part of the best wide receiver room in the country. <laughs> yeah. But then, like, you get here and you see what that actually means and yeah. what that entails. Is that an eye opener versus, like, when you're hearing it versus actually experiencing what's actually necessary to be able to move up a pecking order in a room like that? Oh, yeah, most definitely. Um, like we say in our room, and Coach Hart preaches every day in our room, it's like, you got to be uncommon amongst uncommon. And that's the definition of Ohio State. Can't have a bad day or amongst the best athletes in the world, the most elite players in the country. So I mean, just how you said, like uh, hearing that sounds good, sounds hard, but even being in that and being in them shoes of being a player and actually going through that, it gets real. Absolutely, it gets real. Uh, there's days you doubt yourself. There's days that you second guess yourself. But I mean, it's just all part of really just staying true to yourself and keep believing in everything you can do.